Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Instruct Sinan and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing the season two finale of Runaways called Split Up. So we start off with a girl tells the story of a prophecy and it's basically a love story and it's to bring peace to the universe. So basically there was a stowaway that helped exiled royal magistrates. Uh, and eventually um, they, she was found out and she helped them guide their way through the galaxy, but they crash landed on Earth. And they were in a dark pit of stasis until Carolina saved her. So, um, now we go to the current day and she shared it with Carolina, like through her head. Apparently she can do that. And then we cut to where she is super, where Carolina is super overwhelmed, which is crazy understandable and uh, she wants a hard copy of this prophecy <laughs> like say it's super cool that you showed me through your your mind and stuff and everything but I'm gonna need some hard evidence like a piece of paper or a book or something and then we cut to where pride wants to uh, chase to um, bring the kids back if not it's a war and then Zabon talks to Leslie and then we have the game discuss everything then Chase calls them and they answer. And then we cut to where the dad says the weapon, uh, so. Anyway, so they agree to meet. Then he hangs up, then he talks to his dad and says, and then the dad says that the weapons are more dangerous now. And he doesn't understand how that even happened. And so then he was like, um, well, there's something I can do about now. They've already been, um, done that already been processed. Then we cut to where Carolina talks to Leslie and tells um, her Carolina is the new leader of the church because of the whole thing that she did in the previous episode. And she kind of doesn't want that but at the same time <laughs> she's kind of screwed. Then the gang meet Chase and basically they're not having it. They just tell them to like go on. And so then uh, Pride is rolling out and Tina sends out the drones. So the gang split up and so Alex stole a car. And the parents are following him and then Leslie talks to Zabon. Zabon. And Zabon can already tell that the baby is a royal magistrate heir. And that basically the... And that basically um, everyone that was on the ship basically got new hosts and um we and so the parents must be part of the new hosts of the people that were on the ship then we cut to where victor tells um tells somebody i feel like he's tailing carolina yeah carolina then chase talks to his mom and tells her about victor and then we cut to where Carolina blasts at Victor. And basically, um, he puts her in a force field. Then Saban saved her. And Victor equals her dad. And took her. So she carried Saban and took Carolina. Then we have Gert and Molly split up. Then Stacy literally KO'd Gert. And then we cut to where Alex lost the, he lost, uh, so Alex lost his parents. He managed to shake them off. Then Nico, and then it's Nico versus her mom. And this was some impressive fight scenes. I was floored on how good these fight scenes were. And then it's her, against her dad, and they have fight scenes against her dad, which again were amazing. And it was brutal fight scene. My god, it was really brutal. I loved it. They were basically, at first, like, they were very well matched. Then Nika was starting to lose a little bit. She was getting tired out. Her parents just kept going and going and going. And then finally, she went down for the count, and then she went right back up because of that staff and KO'd all of them. And the dad is really injured. I think there's, like, glass in his neck. Then we cut to where Alex confronts the, uh, his parents and got them arrested. <laughs> and then we cut to where, um, 
Uh, so Chase's dad blasted Chase and Janet. So Victor blasted them, or technically Caroline's dad blasted them. And knocked them out. Then we have Gert's dad took Gert and Lace from the mom. And he was like, okay, we're just going to go away from your mom. So he actually has them in the back of a um, RV. Oh, or a tractor trailer, whatever. <clears throat> and then we cut to where the, um, basically, um, as all the parents are getting together, as or the host, they, one of them is missing, and basically the host could be one of the kids or someone else. They don't know. And then we cut to where Zaban has an option. That we don't know what that option is. And then the gang is upset because they're split up. And then Chase, Carolina, and Chase's mom, Janet, are in pods. So basically, they go over, like, how can we sustain? Because, like, you know, also they, um, these hosts are fragile as the parents are talking. And so, well, um, we decided to set the energy out of these humans to make us last longer. And now they have three hosts to choose from, which is Chase, Carolina, and Janet. So they're put in these, into those health pods that Victor was in forever as he was healing. So, now it's in the episode. Uh, crazy episode. I really, really enjoyed this episode. I can say plus because the fight scenes were ridiculously good. I loved it. I thought that was great. And um, the season overall, I'll probably give a strong B+. Plus. There was definitely some lackluster moments. I was like, and I kind of fell out of it, but this kind of picked it right back up. So I'm very excited to see what's going to happen for season three because I know it did get renewed. So that's super exciting. Um, I really, really enjoyed this episode. I'm very excited where the direction is going in this series. So hopefully it continues. And that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please give a like, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree, disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe because it helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.